So like if you ask me that did I know the kind of flyer I'm, I was going to bring out before I started, I will tell you no. Why? Why no? I'm going to narrate everything in this video and that is why you are here to watch me design. So here in this video, I am going to put you through my thought process and my design process for this very flyer and what I did and then what I did not do to come up with such a flyer. It will come with also advice and also explanation to this video at the same time. So while it is running, let's box on. Okay, so mostly when I am doing my designs, I just start off with a background. I mostly go for this gradient backgrounds that are actually having a deeper color and a lighter color. And I just go for that because of how I want my flyer to look like. So this is actually the plan for my design. Unless I do not want to go with that method. But this is always my background type. Okay, so from there, in this particular flyer, I added a texture. And we all know textures are just for um, lubrication, just to make the design very good. So I decided to place it on soft light and it was very harsh. So I reduced the opacity a little bit and it was just good to get me going. If you ask me how did I know this texture was going to work, I tried a more, um, not too much, but more textures before this. So the one that actually suited my taste for the color or the background color was just the texture I placed before this very um, vector image you're seeing. So I brought in this vector image also because I love the design and as I downloaded it from Pinterest, I just saw a potential of it in the in, in, in my in my flyer. So it was something I have downloaded way back. Okay, I had it in my stock images. So I said, let me try using it and see how best I can come out with it with on a, on on a design. So just as you're seeing. I always make sure to reduce the opacity of every file I am putting into the background here in this particular flyer. Why? Because that's the best suit for this blend. Okay, I needed everything to just blend in its own complexion, uh, in its own feed, okay, for the background to come out nice. Okay, so that is how i got it looking and you see how detailed the background is looking just like i want it i want it to be busy and it is looking busy and i really love that so this model or this person image right here was all right but then i wanted i wanted it to fuse with the background okay so everything should just be picking the background color that is why when i bring the image in i reduce the opacity just so that it can pick up the background color if not i will have to go through the hue and saturation again but for this man i can't reduce the opacity and the fills but then i can add a color on top of him and so i can make him blend with the background a little bit okay not too much but it's better than nothing okay so that is why i am using the hue and saturation and then i'm enhancing uh, the colors a little bit to suit the background it doesn't have to be perfect we are not doing photo manipulation here so it doesn't have to really be perfect like you are you are a photoshop god no but the least you can do is to do the best you can <laughs> that's what i'm saying so just do the best you can and then let your flyer speak the rest okay so from there the he was saturated saturation saturated his face okay it covered his face and then 
his neck line so that we do not want i do not want to see so i'm just cleaning it on the heel and saturation layer so this one is just to make the effect of the hue and saturation i had I have just made land only on the shirt because i have cleaned the other side of it so this is my thought process these are what i actually did before this design came out it didn't come out as perfect as you're seeing it in alignment as you're seeing it this is just a tutorial made simply by me to teach you guys here in this community so if you ask me did i know i was going to project a, a, a letter behind him and blend it in the background i'll tell you no but in the course of creating the flyer it just came across it just came in mind and i decided to put it to a trial so i just decided to try it out and then fantastic it did perform so i just wrote the text and then reduce the opacity as usual because i wanted to blend with the background so right here i'm just blending everything into the background so what do i do i bring whatever i want to blend onto the page and i make sure to change either the blending option or reduce the opacity sometimes i do both on a particular action or a particular object off to get it blending into the background so when we say blending it has different forms okay there are places where you use this blending modes to do and there are places where you use blend if to blend and all other things but then i am using the manual mode the manual mode is you using the blend mode and then fill and everything just to come out with a design it doesn't really have to be perfect very good so that is more like the background for the page right now so from there all i decided to do was to add a backlight the backlight is something that i have as a, as my designing style anytime i'm using this i always go for gradient background and the gradient background ends up getting um, filled by uh, the cost of adding textures onto the page so it's either I am going to bring in a light image and blend it or put it on a, a, a screen blend mode to show like the Sun or I just bring out a light behind um, this uh, model right here as you are seeing just to cover up for the gradient i made okay and, uh, and and also to make beautify the flyer yes to beautify the flyer for me so i'm adding two layers of um, colors now the first one was an orange color and then just as a background um, center color and then the second one is just on top of the orange color but it's more brighter than the orange color that is yellow yellowish okay that's more like it and then if you are here you've been here on this channel for long you notice that i'm always adding effect on the model or man of god or in this case it's a model so just as you're seeing i went to the camera raw filter i'm just trying to sharpen and enhance the color or the facial uh, appearance of the model right here just like to be presenting nice before the final result comes this helps keeps my design going and i know and believe that if you also exercise this in your designing career it was going to also help you go a long way in your journey so let's box on that is more of what i did and here we're going to add the details but i want to elaborate more on the background light i added the background light i added is just 
me having a narrative of a person standing and being reflected upon by a light. So it's more like you being in a, uh, you standing at a certain angle and the sun smacking you with its rays and light behind you. How is the person in front of you going to see the entire narrative? How is the person standing in front of you going to picture everything? That is the narrative I had in mind for this flyer. Actually, before putting the light behind him. And it's actually a designing style I always use. So that is more like the narrative that I have in mind for this type of light I put behind my characters or my models or men of gods that's more like it that this is what keeps my design going and popping out really well nice and steady you know I always want to advise that maybe you're a beginner or maybe you've not heard this but no idea is fully formed until you put it to practice what do i mean by put it into practice you will never know the outcome until you start doing it so very well at this point after adding the text i am going to make sure it is popping out really nice and this i'm going to just brush off with this dark color i have added on a new layer I'll brush the bottom with a dark color just like this just so that everything I'm brushing it on top of the layer of the model just so that he fits also from the bottom and as well as giving space or giving more room for the text to show nicely on the page that is this is the only benefit I really love about this style of designing I am not the only person using this style of designing, but I'm saying generally this is the best this is more of the best method of designing with this method uh, designing that doesn't really entail you to put more stress on being creative with the text. Like you can just if only you are good with the background, you are good. You are, you are saved with a text arrangement. If only you are good with the background. You are good with the text. Why? Because you won't have to worry much about what color should I use for the text? What, um, what, what, what colors? What combination of colors? What shadow? You don't have to worry about that. You just put a text there. Arrange it well. You choose your color, plain color that fits the, the, the mostly plain colors. If you're going with this type kind of design, that fits the the design. You can't since I'm using orange, I can't go and choose brown and put brown or uh, orange right there and expect a good outcome. No, it's going to actually fade into the colors. So I'll I rather take a different color and as I've taken I've taken white and green and I, this is this is more like a you're not going to stress on adding the details yes that's the word the details you're not going to stress that much on the details all you have to do is to get your background right and everything will just be falling into place. So this type of method and there are only two types of designing. Is it that you're using the blending method or you're using the plain method? The plain method comes with a, a, a plain color without blending anything or without going through all this background designing process and also being creative. That, that is also there. 
but I choose mostly to go with this because it's just as complex as it can be and as beautiful as the outcome can also be so that's more like it so and I just hope everyone can also add details onto the flyer because if you are a beginner and you think you can't add details and you need explanation on how to add the details on the flyer I have more videos that are very very long and large on YouTube on my channel that you can watch to I is there's the same procedure but different design that you can watch to also get more knowledge on how I add my text and everything I explain everything from scratch to finish so you don't have to worry just go to that video and watch it so I don't know want to hear anybody complaining I'm rushing the videos and all that no some parts I think are not worth wasting they are basic stuff that uh, they are not worth taking time off okay so I would really much appreciate if you're a beginner and you think you don't know how to add text kindly visit my long videos and then learn from there from there you pick up from this video and then you go on you go on and on so alignment I'm mostly key on the alignment because it's also a very should I say crucial a crucial part in designing a flyer because the alignment should be certain you can't align this to the left and align the rest to the right and uh, no if you go, want to go with a left alignment go with left alignment throughout your details if you want to go with right alignment go with right alignment throughout your details and everything is just going to be all right that way you are just making your work so simple and understandable so this is one part of the design you can choose to design without the lights popping out on his shoulders or you can choose to design with the light popping out on his shoulders so I'm going to add the parts where or I'm going to design the part where I'm going to add where I'm going to add the light on his shoulder so this is more like the first part I'm going to add this particular lens flare the name is lens flare so you can choose this some people do not want the light and I do not know why but I've seen <laughs> most people complain you see this creative world of graphic designing has something to do with you the individual and what you're seeing this is very attractive to me but it's not attractive to somebody that is why I made this two kind so separately for somebody that would want to see the lens flare on the shoulder and for another person that does not want to see it so that is why I divided it to that point so this is more like it Thank you very much for clicking to watch this video and I really hope this video helped you and if it did don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I hope to see you next time.